All right, so we've got our basic class. Still doesn't do a whole lot here if we run it. Uh, our two classes anyway. Uh, a window will pop up again in the crazy location. I don't understand why it's not in the center of the screen. But nothing happened. So let's make something happen. Let's make it at least draw something. So um, under the run method, we gotta we gotta update everything. We'll just call. Um, let's just flesh out the run method a little bit. So we call the method called update that doesn't do anything yet. We call the method draw, but again, it doesn't do anything quite yet. <laughs> it will in a second, though. I swear it. And then we tell the panel to repaint itself. That's it. And what does repaint do? J, J panels are smart. So when you call repaint, that's a method that J panel has. When you call repaint, because our class extends that, it's like a, a child class of that, repaint does paint component. And so we want it to just paint the image to the panel. So we've got this one tool, G, that's building a complicated image of our game, and that knows it how to knows that G only knows how to draw to image to that buffered image. G does not have any idea how to take image and put it on the panel, which I know seems a little weird at first. So you have to create a new tool, which we did down below, called G2, and we need to associate. Oh no. Yeah, and we need to have in the paint uh, component method, G2 is going to draw our image to the panel. So G2 dot draw image. I think it's this one, is it? No. Well, whatever. So image, and we need it to start at 0, 0, the top left corner. And we need it to draw it as wide as BB main dot width and BB main dot height. And we can delete that parameter and observer. We just have null because that's a complicated thing that we don't need to utilize at this point. And then g2.dispose. And the reason we call dispose is, again, because every time this method is called, and it's going to be called thousands of times for a single game, it creates a new graphics 2D object and puts it in memory. Unless we call dispose, it just sits there taking up enormous amounts of memory. We just created thousands of useless graphics to D objects. So we need to call g2.dispose. Now so that we can see anything, I'm also have g2 draw something. So I'm going to have it fill a rectangle from, I don't know, 20, 20. Oh no, let's have it fill the background. So from 0 to 0, uh, BB main dot width BB main dot height we have to tell it we have to set the color first g2 dot set color color dot white uh, and then on top of the white thing we're gonna do g2 dot set color this is just so you can see that it's doing anything um, color dot black and g2 dot fill oval how about uh, from 20 20 I get 20 by 60 okay and let's see are we calling everything that we need to call paint component repaint while running I think this should do it what did I not set the color correctly Oh, it's drawing the image over the top, that's why. At least I believe that's why. Yeah. Okay, and eventually we're going to erase all these like white background and black oval things. But you can see there's something there, and we got stuff to work with. So that's what we're going to start doing in the next tutorial.